So my message and aim for you today is to really come back to yourself and know who your rawest self is truly to be able to show up online, externally to the world around you and attract the things that you want to attract. Social media, online presence, who you are, you can come across as someone completely different to who you actually are. I could actually do this and show up as someone I'm not. But I know how important it is to show up as yourself because you're going to attract those like-minded people who will resonate with this video and other people around you day to day who will see your social media will know you're being the most authentic, raw self possible. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter if it's someone that you see on a social media platform that you've been following for a few years. It doesn't matter if you are the one that is showing up, making videos, online presence, maybe you're trying to grow your business. Maybe you're someone who is dating online. Maybe you're trying to find a relationship that is serving you. And as amazing as social platforms are and social media and online presence is now because we're connected in so many ways, we're also so disconnected in other ways but within ourselves. So my message and aim for you today is to really come back to yourself and know who your rawest self is truly to be able to show up online, externally to the world around you and attract the things that you want to attract. So, okay, for example, you've been on a dating app for a few years now and you notice that someone externally from you that you're swiping, you've noticed, okay, I've had a few conversations with them, and something in my gut is saying, that's not who they are. Are they, is it a fake profile? Is it someone who is saying who they're not, who they actually are? Now, you had a friend recently that actually was going through this and said, Annie, for some reason, I don't know why it is, but every single person I speak to online, I have this block which is, what if they're not real, but they're fake, they've, they've got to be a scam artist, they've got to do this, and, and thinking the worst. And I said, right, okay. There's something within you that has either experienced this in the past, or is something deep within that you know in your gut isn't right. So which one is it? And that's where she completely broke open and was like, hey, this has happened to me before numerous amounts of times. I've been dating online for years and I haven't met anyone. And I said, okay, well, I'm no dating expert, <laughs> but let's have a look. And her profile wasn't her raw self of who she said she was. And the moment I made her aware of this, yeah, okay, she didn't like it at first. She was like, but this is my app, this is my dating app. And I was like, okay, but if, if you truly say what you want to do, which is to meet someone and have a relationship, a long-term relationship and commitment, you've got to show yourself online as who you are, your truest self. It's the same that goes for business. If you turn up and you've created an identity that's online and your offline identity is completely different, what happens when it comes to collaboration? So you meet in person, you meet your clients in person, you've got to keep up this identity that's online. And before you know it, when you try to keep this up for so long, it leads to mental breakdowns. And that's where it starts to plummet and you then have to look within yourself and it becomes a lesson that is harder to learn because you've come so far to then retract back to where you could be. I've seen it so many times where I see people have such good intentions for their own business to help people, to create these things, to have an online presence. But when it comes to actually showing who they really are, this identity is attached to their income, is attached to money, is attached to a fear-based mentality because they don't feel they're going to be accepted for who they truly are, to their core, to their raw self. So can you see that when you create an identity or someone else outside of yourself on a dating app, for example, is creating an identity of not who they actually are, it's a reflection of you or that person that you don't feel safe in yourself to shine your authentic self, to shine your own light. Maybe you don't feel that you could be accepted for who you truly are online. 
maybe you feel so vulnerable to show you up as yourself online that you don't feel if I was to show up maybe people wouldn't like me maybe I'm not going to be accepted for who I am now question yourself here if this is you question yourself do I accept myself do I accept myself wholly of who I am because if I truly did, none of this other identity would matter. This would not even exist. This actual true self of who I am, showing up authentically, is who I really am. So really, I don't care about what other people around me may assume or think of me because I know that I am showing up as myself. I know that I'm eventually going to attract the same people like me or the people that I'm here to serve. Just bear in mind that sometimes and it's very common for us to show up online, social media, on online platforms, virtually, business meetings, social media platforms, live events, showing up as someone we're not because we're trying to feel safe in our system. I invite you to really reflect on this. It can happen to anyone out there. It doesn't matter if you are experiencing it with someone else or you're experiencing it with yourself. I guarantee every single person on this earth who is in the social media world has experienced this. If this has helped you today, please like, share, subscribe because this helps me grow my channel and touch other people's lives out there who may need to hear this message. Thank you.